Let me even go here and say this. It's a war amongst women. The women who made the right choices. Again, none of us are perfect. We all been through some bullshit. We all done some bullshit. But it's a lot of us that have come to our realizations early. To where it's like, yeah, I'm fucking up. Or I'm on some bullshit. You know what I mean? And we were able to correct and check a lot of those things that were working against us while we were younger. And make the proper adjustments and changes while we were younger. But then you have another side, right? To where we thought y'all was some, again, pick me bitches. Here's the thing. Hear me out, y'all. Again, 900. Y'all give us 900 likes. I appreciate y'all pulling up. All of this sadness is creating a lot of competition and animosity amongst the women. The women that did the right things in their youth and are now happily married, settled down, comfortable, stable, secure. So where we didn't believe the hype. Yeah, the women were telling us to go out there and live your best life. Fuck as many men as you want to. Do what you want to do. You still young. Go explore. We said, uh, that don't sound right and that don't feel right to my soul. Let me not do that. All right? Now we're good. Is anything perfect? No, but it's pretty good. It's pretty be- beautiful. It's brutal, right? Now you have a lot of women that are sad as fuck looking back at their past mistakes, viewing those females like, Ah, oh, this bitch. They're looking at us like, oh, this bitch, she's just so lucky. And this bitch, she just don't know what it's like to be in my shoes. And this bitch, this bitch is bitch. But it's like, no, sis, we all were presented with choices. We all can make choices as human beings. Free will, amen. So you could have did the same thing. You could have said, okay, this is a nice young gentleman. Let me just go ahead and commit and submit to him. Let me go ahead and be of assistance to him because, again, he's able to take care. Let me, okay, let me go ahead. Let me do what I'm naturally born to do as a woman, which is to serve a good man. Amen. I didn't go around saying, oh, he boring because all he want to do is be a good man. He don't want no drama. He ain't got no drama. Oh, no. I said, no, this is good. It's a good thing. Hold on to it. Support that. Assist that, love that, nurture that. Again, submit to that. Now y'all are mad because now we're telling y'all. Shame, shame, shame. And now y'all are really upset because we are telling the younger women coming up behind us and behind you that what you're doing is bad and don't do that. Which is creating potentially and possibly other women to be able to be secure and stable once they get of age, once they get older, whatever the case is. By doing what's necessary now so that you don't have to play catch up later. You don't have to be the shoulda, coulda, woulda story later to where you sad as fuck because no man really wants you. And that's also making those same regretful past me chicks feel extremely isolated and remorseful because now you're opening the pathway and the doorway for other women to experience what I never will. And that's a sad reality, you guys. That's a sad reality. A a sad reality is a lot of us will never have that experience. To where we're in committed, long-term, solid marriages or relationships, and we can live comfortably. A lot of us will never experience that due to our past choices. There are women out there, they will never experience that. And do you think they're not sad and upset and mad? If the next bitch that does and can and has a chance, oh, hell no. This is why you see those ladies like uh, they're hating on the, the younger women. 
right? Now, you got don't get it twisted. You have older women that are, you know, giving the game, like, hey, ladies, don't do what I did. This is what I did wrong. You can do something better. You have that element of it, and shout out to y'all. I hate it's, it's bittersweet for me because it's like, damn, sis, like, I hate that you had to come to this realization later on in life. You know what I mean? You could have been good, you know, but it's sweet because you are, again, helping the next women out, helping the next young ladies and women out. Um, so it's beautiful in that way. But another element to that is women are just angry and they're bitter about that. To so where they will hate and compete with the younger women like, Oh, uh, whatever, because we, we want the same men. I want the man that owns the bar, too. I want the man that owns the laundromat, too. I want the man that owns his gym and, you know, is into real estate. I want that man, too. And they feel like the younger women have an unfair advantage because, again, you may look better. You may have a lot more uh, liveliness to you more energy to you, more fertile, um, more moldable, all these different things working for you. And so what they'll try to do is poison those same men into not dealing with those younger women and say, oh, well, but she's immature. So you need, you need you a grown and sexy woman that understands what a man wants and what a man needs. You know, these young, these little young whippersnappers, you know, they're just, they don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know how to wash their ass good. You know, you, you need you a real mature woman. You know, she don't know nothing. She don't know nothing about no man. They just gonna use you. And it's like, bitch, that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> that's the catch to it all, y'all. That be that be taking me out. We got these older women trying to hate on the the younger women and deter men from getting with these younger women and saying, "Ah, oh, she don't know what she doing. She just trying to use you for your money. She ain't real." And it's like, bitch, y'all both after the same thing. If you want to be technical, I mean, don't you want him for his money too? Okay. Don't you want him for his security and stability too? Man? Like. This sounds like the pot calling, calling the, the kettle black. That's what this sounds like to me. This sounds like the, the black panther calling the black cat black to me. Yeah, you don't want to deal with her. She black. Like, bitch, you black too. You jet black. Wait, hold on. This sounds like the pot calling the kettle black. I just... Yeah, she, don't, she just want to use you for your money. You need you a real woman. That's gonna also want him for his money so she can use. Okay. So that's creating again this war outside, even amongst the women. Y'all laugh. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. When look, look, look. I know, I know I'm right. But that you you have that element to where it's like this bitch. She thinks she all of that because she made the right decisions in her life. It could have been you too, sis. And it's like, this also could have been you too, sis. Again, that free will I'm talking about. You thought that you can be able to get this off. 